everybody. I have very, very important information to share with you today. What's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, TRSKSS here. And like I said, I have very important information to showcase to you all regarding GTA 5 Online's next big DLC update. And this is some pretty big information. So before I get into it, if you guys want to like pause the video real quick, pop this up on your television, pop your popcorn, lay down, get comfortable, take out your notepad, because this is going to be some crazy, crazy information that I am just urging to share with you. So before I even share it, if you guys could do your part and get this video out to as many people as possible to give them all of the tips and, you know, notes and things that I've taken notice of in this video by just dropping a like on it that would really help out the channel tremendously and I'd appreciate the support and also if you're brand new here and you happen to stumble across this video if you could just hit subscribe because I'd hate it if you missed out on any of my brand new content that comes out every single day so without further ado let's get into this so basically we all know that GTA Online is massively successful, and therefore Rockstar is going to keep pumping out content on it until literally it just can't any longer. And, you know, either the game is going to lose its player base, or the PS4 and Xbox One are just going to get so filled with different updates and things that they won't be able to handle it anymore at all. Now, luckily, it doesn't appear like that's going to be happening anytime soon whatsoever. Now, I know they have Red Dead Online, and some of you guys might play that as well. Even I do play that too sometimes. But it doesn't appear any time whatsoever that this is going to be happening anytime soon, where they just cease their updates on GTA Online. And it actually appears like we might be getting an update sooner than we all think. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this. Now, I've seen a lot of different people suggest and say different things all about these updates, and so I have compiled all the evidence myself, and I'm giving my opinions on it, my thoughts and ideas, and everything that I think is interesting and worth sharing with you people. So the very first one is about an Easter-themed DLC. Now, a lot of people have surprisingly actually been wondering about this. Is Rocks are going to put out an Easter DLC. Is there going to be any type of Easter bonuses to GTA Online? You know, people are going to be not doing anything that day. So are they going to be like posting up anything special for those people that maybe aren't celebrating Easter and not doing anything? You know, who knows? Well, I personally don't think that will happen. Because first of all, Easter is on a Sunday and you know, obviously there would be more people online, but not everybody celebrates Easter. You know, not every single person celebrates like Christmas and Hanukkah and stuff like that. But if you look at it, a vast majority of people do celebrate holidays like Christmas, things like that. But not everybody actually acknowledges and celebrates Easter. So even if Rockstar were to put out this update, they might be offending the people that maybe don't celebrate it or maybe don't believe in what it represents different things like that. So I honestly don't think there would be an Easter update. I think maybe they might offer a couple discounts and specialty things like they normally do, but I don't think they're going to be updating any specifics and making like Easter egg hunts or, you know, bunny costumes or anything like that whatsoever, because I just think there'd be a lot of work for them for not much return. Now, there is a couple things I want to talk about regarding the next DLC. So basically, I don't know if you guys have been in the casino or not recently, but if you've been going to the Diamond Casino, you may or may not have noticed that Yun Ancestor's yellow Grotti Furia has been moving in and out of the garage. Now, I personally thought this might be a glitch, and maybe this was just something that was happening, but it appears that it was actually not, because a lot of people did notice this. Basically, Young Ancestor is this band member that works at the casino, and you help him out a little bit in the casino heist. And, you know, the significance of all this is that Rockstar does like to leave tips about the next DLC. They did it with the Diamond Casino when they started changing up the exterior of it, and then they started doing it with the heist too when they started dropping subtle little hints about robbing the casino in the in-game dialogue as well as in-game pictures and things at the casino. Now, like I was saying, Yun Ancestor is this band member who works there, you help him out, and it appears that his car continues to go inside the garage and outside the garage repeatedly for about 
a couple weeks so far. Now, somebody actually posted this on the GTA forums and inquired about it and was like, hey, is this actually a real thing? Is this a hint? And the insider, Tez Funds 2, who's very reliable and predicted lots of DLC updates, has actually said this is not anything important and anything that we should worry about. Basically, he said if Rockstar was trying to develop a hint, they wouldn't waste their time by simply adding and deleting and adding and deleting some guy's car over and over and over again because that's such a tiny little thing that most players probably didn't even notice it and they could definitely do much bigger and better hints if they wanted to something that everyone would take note of like the casino so i thought that was pretty interesting because some people had said this is the next dlc something using him and utilizing him in some aspect but honestly i mean i don't really think so now the next thing that i want to talk about has to do with rockstar's social media I don't know if you guys have been active on Twitter or anything recently, but if you are, go ahead and follow me at TRSKSS so that we can connect and you guys can stay up to date on my new videos. But I don't know if you guys have been active on there, anything like that. Well, Rockstar has been posting way more than they ever did before. Now, some people thought, oh, this is just them like being bored at home on the quarantine because obviously like the crisis in the world leads to all of them staying at home to keep themselves safe and healthy and developing their games. And some people were like, oh, this is just like them being bored, blah, blah, blah. But somebody actually asked us in the GTA forums as well and said, hey, is this anything significant? Is Rockstar actually going to tease a DLC by putting up their social media engagement so that when they announce it, more and more people will see it, and as a result, more players will play? Well, the former leaker, Yan2295, and I hope I got his name correct, he actually said, no, this is nothing important because... I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but simply they're just playing with other people online in the community, like they always used to long ago. They'll just tweet out people's Twitch streams and join it and promote them and showcase all the good stuff that they're doing. Maybe them and their friends are playing a heist. Well, Rockstar Games might join and link up their stream on their Twitter and then more and more people check it out. Basically, it's for anyone that's playing the game responsibly and showcasing it in a very positive light that Rockstar might want to capitalize off of. Now, the very last thing that I do want to talk to you guys about today is something that was actually linked to me that I wanted to read to you. So somebody posted on a GTA forum, not the specific ones that I always read, but a different one, something about the next GTA Online updates and also information about Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, I'll leave the Grand Theft Auto 6 to like in another video where I'm going to talk about some other stuff, and that'll be coming out in just a few days, but I want to tell you guys about this. Now, basically, this guy said that his roommate worked at Rockstar. He and 100 other people were fired from Rockstar North last week, and he was a foreign exchange student and wanted to go home but was stuck due to COVID-19. Now, this all seems very very believable thus far like this guy is a foreign exchange student his roommate worked there people got laid off which has been happening to a lot of people in the country right now however he goes on to tell him all these things and he said that his roommate came in that night very angry and told him many things regarding the projects he was working on now he also said that he worked as a junior animation programmer which is pretty significant because all the games are very very animated now he said, I don't remember all the things he told me, but I do remember almost all things he said to me last night. And very basically, the first one is going to come out, the update is going to come out in July 2020 or August 2020. That'll be the very next big update. Now this follows along pretty well with the Rockstar schedule, because even if this were to be pushed back to August, like he said, could happen due to the crisis, Rockstar actually has been posting updates very consistently in the months of July and late June. So late June, early July is when they do updates. That's when they did the Diamond Casino. That's when they did After Hours. All this stuff, they always do Independence Day. So it seems that the month of July is a very good and promising month for Rockstar. Now, the next thing that he said, the update is about the elite prostitution business 
the Mile High Club building will finally be open. Then he says a new radio station will be added and showcased in the game. The City Morgue Band makes an appearance. Some songs are on the new radio, but their motion capture performance is implemented into the game. And finally, this will be very similar to what they did with Solomon, Black Madonna, and others, is what this guy said that his roommate said. Two new weapons, a dildo and a new SMG, and ten new vehicles, new adversary mode called Cops and Crooks, will be added in the update. Then he also goes on to say that finally, Grand Theft Auto will have a final update scheduled in December 2020. As of right now, it's a new heist that he did not talk about very much. And finally, he said they are planning to release the GTA 5 for PS5 and update it with single player DLC. That DLC is nothing more than added online content to the story mode. And he said that every weapon and vehicle and other content from online will be added to story mode and that they are planning to do this and add in a new system of discovering vehicles like legendary bikes and similar to Red Dead Redemption 2 animal collecting. These are very rare but can be achieved by certain missions that they plan to include for all three protagonists. So definitely very interesting stuff, and some of that stuff is really kind of far out there. Some of it seems a little bit more true, but I wanted to showcase it with you people. I honestly don't know how to feel about it. I think it might be real, it might be fake. I don't think that they're going to necessarily stop updates in December 2020, because they haven't even announced GTA 6 yet. So therefore, by them completely stopping updates to GTA Online, they're going to lose a lot of revenue, and only have one game rather than two that could be promoting their revenue. Now, if they had announced GTA 6 and we're going to release that in like December of 2020 or whatever, then that might hold out better for them and work better than just stopping updates altogether. So with all that being said, that's all I had for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments because it's very, very interesting, all the stuff that I did bring up. And like I said, it was very important. So hopefully you guys had your popcorn, sat down, put the video on the big screen, and hopefully you did enjoy. But yeah, if we could try and go for like two likes on this video today, then that'd be pretty cool. I mean, I haven't really hit two likes in like six years, so if anybody wants to help me out by just hitting the like button, I'd really appreciate that. And finally, don't forget to subscribe here if you're brand new, because I'd hate it if you missed out on my brand new daily uploads. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming, and peace out.